What's good, YouTube? This is Unique Divination, and you are listening to Urban Mystic Radio. And I come with you for a message for the month of October. You see here, oh, <laughs> wrong hand. You see here, I've got my homie, Lord Ganesha, in the back behind me. He is the remover of obstacles. So I want to start my message off with, you know, make sure that you guys understand that obstacles in your way are nothing to be scared of, okay? Um, challenges are part of of life. And, you know, depending on how you react and how you move through the obstacles determines your growth and development, okay? So Lord Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. I invoke him um, in a lot of things that I do. Um, he gives me strength and he lets me know that, you know, anything that comes in my way can be removed. I had a very great obstacle removed out of my life this past week. Um, those of you may not know because I really don't um, talk about my personal life, but I'm currently in the process of adopting my nephew. He was in foster care and I've been for the last nine months have been hard on trying to get him out of the system. And last week there was a situation where I kind of just had enough and I called upon Lord Ganesh, um, along with members of my coven and we did some magic and I went to court the next day and he was awarded to come live with me. So the magic is real. Um, like I said, I've been struggling with this for nine months. And then when I just pour all of my intent and energy into it with the help of my coven, the very next day for court, it's awarded in my favor. So that was just very beautiful. Um, I was just so excited and so happy. I'm still happy. I just can't get over it. I know I'm so monotone, but I'm really happy inside y'all. Okay. So um, I recently just got some goddess guidance oracle cards and I felt like, um, I wanted to give you guys some gu guidance through the goddesses, okay? So I've pulled three cards, and we're going to go over the cards. We're going to go over what they stand for and the message that is brought with the cards. So the first card that we have is Butterfly Maiden, okay? Goddess Butterfly Maiden, and it says transformation here, and it says you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings, so I'm going to read to us who the Butterfly Maiden is and pretty much what her message is. So the Butterfly Maiden is a Hopi Native American Kachina spirit who ensures that crops yield healthy and bountiful harvest. She's a springtime goddess who helps us escape from any cocoon situation that's trapping us or impeding us on our growth or journey. I mean, or our growth or joy, excuse me. If you're feeling stuck, she's a wonderful goddess to call upon during the emerging process. She'll also help guide you through life transitions and help spread your wings. And so the message that she gives us is, as you go through this period of change, it's natural for you to wonder if your future is safe. I'm here to assure you that you're part of nature's cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. To bring in your desired newness, you must first allow old parts of your life to fall away. These changes are to be celebrated, not feared. Give thanks for the shedding of the old. Embrace all of the lessons it brought, and then let it go. Be giddy with excitement at the newness of the gifts that are now being bestowed upon you, and let their magic surprise and delight you. And other meanings of the card are don't be concerned about endings as they're bringing in the new, you, the new for you. Your prayers have been answered with this change. Let go of the old and don't worry about these changes. They're truly for the best. And I just want to add on to there, um, in terms of tarot, um, when I think of the butterfly made and in transformation, I think of the death card with, you know, death, birth, and rebirth, the cycles. Um, I also think of the zodiac sign of Scorpio and Sagittarius, what deals with transformation, regeneration, decay, renewal. Um, there may be some of y'all watching this video that are going through a transition in your life and you don't know what the hell's going on. Um, some of you may be trying to get new solutions with old patterns and old paradigms, okay? You can't bring new solution or new way of thinking to like an old paradigm. 
you got to let go of the old. Um, there's definitely another way to do what you're doing. Um, you got to let go of old mentality, habits that are not serving you purpose for what it is that you're trying to do. Um, let go of these things that are not serving you any justice spiritually, you know, and, you know, as you grow. So just to add on to that, let it go. Don't be afraid of change. Change is good. There, change is constant. Nothing is ever the same. Um, I've mentioned before our organs um, replace ourselves, regenerate new cells every so often. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know the exact data on that, but nothing is ever the same. So if you're moving in a new direction and you feel like you're stuck, it's probably because you won't let go of old mentality thinking, old paradigm, old habits. You've got to let these things go if you want to shift into the direction that the universe is putting you. So just keep that in mind, okay? Definitely keep that in mind. So our next card Coventina, purification. It is a time for a cleansing de detoxification of your body and mind. The goddess Coventina. Let's read what this, this goddess is about. Coventina, she's a powerful Celtic goddess of the waters, including the oceans, lakes, streams, ponds, and rivers. Coventina protects bodies of water and their inhabitants. And she's happy to give you a divine assignment related to environmentalism, if you ask her. Wishing wells are made in her honor, and today we continue the practice of throwing coins into water while making a wish. It's Coventina who grants these wishes. Since our bodies are primarily made up of water, she's very involved with helping us purify our physical selves. She reminds us that purification also means keeping our thoughts and speech filled with positive words, which empower and strengthen, strengthen our bodies and lives. And Coventina's message is, this message comes as a help and not as an affront or a criticism. Your vessel has become clogged by overuse of harsh chemicals and the offending source is within your psyche. You've been ig ignoring your body's many signals and screams for relief from the steady ingestion of impurities. Perhaps you've also noticed a slump in your energy level and your degree of joy has lagged as well. Never mind these past effects, though, as the solution is at hand right now. Now that you've heard this message, do not hesitate for even a moment to make new arrangements. You'll want to keep a sharp focus on the contents of your mind and speech as well, for the words you think and speech are the very diet that supports or thwarts you. Choose purity, and I promise you a changed outlook for the better. Follow your intuition's guidance about making lifestyle changes. Stop abusing alcohol or drugs. Avoid processed foods such as sugar, white flour, and, some, and so on. Eat more organic foods. Keep your thoughts and speech positive. Adopt a vegetarian or vegan diet. Go on a fast or detox. This card also can validate that your current health healthful path is working. So... Um, just to kind of add on to the purification process, um, you know, you don't have to stop eating meat if that's a, something that you're doing. If you eat meat, um, don't feel bad because you eat meat. Nobody's judging you. Um, I currently eat meat. Um, I would love to be a vegetarian and a vegan. It's something that I've been working on myself for a while, but there are other things that you can do to help purify your body. Um, if you drink soda, try to drink a couple less sodas throughout the day. If you drink about five sodas a day, try to cut it down to three. Replace those sodas with eight ounces of water. And see the change in that in itself will help. As far as meat, try to eat less processed meat if you can. Um, try to eat less pork, less beef. Eat lighter meat if, if, if that's possible. Incorporate more fruits and vegetables into your diet if you've not one to eat a lot of fruits or vegetables. Make a smoothie, you know. Um, try to incorporate um, more than you usually would. Um, what will be best is to try to fast if you can. A lot of people do fasting different. And fasting is just when you 
You can not eat for a certain amount of time or all day. Um, say, for instance, you fast from sunup to sundown and you eat at sundown. Okay, and all you drink is water or tea maybe throughout the day. Um, some people will go on a fast and not have anything to eat, not even after sundown. Say if they do three days of fasting with no food and just water and tea. That's fine. Make sure you stay hydrated when you fast. Um, your energy level is going to be different. Um, make sure if you've got any vitamins, I recommend B12, iron, vitamin C. Make sure you're going out in the sun for at least 10 minutes to get vitamin D. So these are things that you can physically do to help with detoxing your body. If you want to do a detox, you can, but I would just recommend um, water or tea. Um, lemon water, apple cider vinegar and water. These are things that you can Google, in fact, um, to see what you can do to help with the fast. But if you've never fasted or done anything to kind of help purify or detox your body, I definitely recommend doing it for your spiritual growth and development. Um, it puts you in a different light, a different perspective, a different paradigm, and it opens you up more spiritually and you can become more in tune. So it's definitely something that you want to do or you want to work on um, if you've never done it before. Um, if you've done it before and you haven't detoxed in a while, then I recommend doing it now, you know, just to give yourself that boost. So the last goddess we have, bear with me for a second, is Bridget. Don't back down is what this goddess says. Stand up for what you believe is right. And so Bridget is a Celtic triple goddess, which means that she represents three aspects of a woman. The young virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone, sage, wise woman. Bridget is a fiery goddess who tirelessly protects those who call upon her. And she's a feminine counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Bridget's temple is in Kildare, Ireland. She celebrated worldwide on February 1st, the ancient sacred day called Imbolc, which marks the beginning of springtime and increasing daylight. Bridget's message is, first, be quite clear about your intentions. If you're unclear, then confusion will lessen your power and your force. Like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright on what it is, what is acceptable to you in this situation. Make no mistake. I will guide and protect you. And yet, think of the unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you, if you are to stand up for yourself and speak up about your needs and your deepest truth. Now is the time to touch your power, for its heat and flame will ignite your passion, which propel you forward in countless ways. Even in the face of fear, you can still stand up for your ideals and truth. Be unwavering and make your stand today. Be assertive. Don't worry about what others think. Trust that your actions will work out fine. Speak your truth. Stick to your opinions and put your foot down. And I can definitely attest to this, um, especially at work. I've been having situations where, for some reason, people have just been making all the wrong decisions. And here I come with, no, that's not right. And People are kind of going back and forth and arguing with me. And then when we look up the policies and procedures and verify with the supervisor, um, what I have been saying is right. Um, be unwavering. If you feel a certain way, you know, and, and you have your facts and things to back it up, don't feel bad. Um, you know, if everybody backed down for what they stood for, nobody would stand for anything. Um Backing away from fear, okay? The emotion and the feeling of fear sometimes will not go away when you're doing things that have a cause or, you know, you're standing for something. The difference between a hero and people that make things happen is that they know how to work through the fear. You will hear time and time again about people that do courageous things, um, you know, 
uh, as far as saving somebody or just, you know, civil rights people, anybody that stood for a cause, they're going to tell you that they were afraid. You never heard anybody, you know, say, oh, I wasn't afraid. They were afraid. They worked through the fear. Okay. Don't let fear control you. Okay. Once you work through that fear and you move through that fear, it dissipates. But you actually have to move through it in order to see that, you know, it can't hold you back. Right. Um, she says, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Don't let anybody don't let anybody punk you into and bully you into their into their beliefs. And you know that they're wrong. You know that they're wrong. Um, just because what you think and how you feel may not be the, what the majority feels, um, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. A lot of the ideologies that I have and a lot of ideals and ways of thinking are going contrast with the majority in, in the, the popular consensus, I would say. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to change how I feel and believe. It wouldn't make me who I was if I was just to follow what everybody does and how everybody feels and just waver in my stance as a person. This also defines your character and your morals and what you stand for. So don't be afraid to be different from everybody. Don't be afraid to have a different outlook on a certain topic. Um, just don't be afraid. So we've got the butterfly maiden with transformation. We've got Coventina, which speaks of purification of our body and our mind. And we've got Bridget that's telling us not to back down. Okay. I hope to everybody who's watched this video that these um that these messages help you and um like i said this is for the month of october i think this goddess guidance will get you through anything that you're trying to do um comment below and let me know what you think if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe i've got a lot of great things coming and please check out my website www.urbanmystic.com all right you guys be safe. Have a good day.